Hey, good morning, everybody. It's Jeremy Sutton, owner of Servant PT, host of the Servant PT podcast. Help women 50 and over live a life full of health, family, and fun. Today, I want to talk about let your yes be yes and your no be no. Um, if everybody is not familiar with that, it's a, it's a scripture from James chapter 5 in the New Testament. But basically, um, you know, we don't have to swear, we don't have to promise. If we tell somebody we're going to do something, do it. If you tell somebody you're not going to do something, don't do it. Um, your yes be yes and your no be no. Oh, gosh, how many of us struggle with that? Um, you know, or how many <laughs> how many of us have had that experience where somebody told us they were going to do something and they never, they never did? I know if I'm being honest, I've done that before, and uh, I, I hate that, but I, I mean, I, I have, I'm, if I'm just going to be honest with you. I mean, we're not, we're not perfect, but, you know, it's a, it's a scripture, it's a scripture, and uh, I believe it's something that's very important, and even if it's not in scripture, I mean, we have uh, businesses, we have um, businesses, and we have, um, you know, if we don't have a business, we can have family, friends. And it's important that when we tell somebody we're going to do something, that we do it. It's important that if we tell somebody we're not going to do it, that we don't do it. Um, you know, we don't go behind their back and, and do something. Uh, you know, in in the business world, if someone calls and says, "Hey, I need you to," you know, send me. People call me all the time and and, are, and need records for um, like Social Security office and um, you know attorney cases and insurance companies need records. Doctor's office needs records and. And if I tell them all, yeah, I'm going to send it to you, and then I never do, well, you know, one, uh, the people don't get what they need. Two, then that person, doctor, insurance, attorney, patient, whoever, loses trust and confidence in me. And, you know, before too long, then nobody has trust and confidence in me. And then here I am by myself trying to be servant PT, and, you know, nobody trusts me or, or can confide in me because I don't do anything that I say I'm going to do. And so it really puts you in a bad position. And, it, and it's so no matter what you say of who you are, who you want to be, if you're not following through with people, if you're not following up with them, if you're not sending, um, sending the things that they ask for, you're not doing the things that they need, then you really um, aren't doing your job at all. And you're really not being a good um, person, therapist, friend, uh, husband, son, father, whatever it is. So really... Or yes, be yes, or no, be no. Um, you know, my my daughter recently, um, probably three times in the last uh, few weeks, is, I've told her something. She said, Daddy, do you promise? And I said, Baby, if I tell you something, that's promise. Like, I'm not I'm not trying to lie to you. I'm not telling you things to get you off my back. I'm, I'm telling you, if you ask me a question and I say yes, then that's what I mean. I mean yes. If you ask me a question and I say no, I don't mean try harder or keep asking I mean that that's that's no um, so and I think it's really important to be consistent with with my children as far as telling them yes and no and, and not backing down or or giving in or whatever you want to call it because you know if we get if our kids learn that we can just you know they can just do whatever and we can just tell them no and then they'll wear us down and they can do it well then you know, they learn that that's just how life works, and what that was about. So, and if we tell them yes, and then we don't let them do something, then, you know, they learn that people are going to lie to them all the time, you know, and, you know, use, use things to get them to do what they want and then back up later. So I just want to be consistent um, at home, at work, at church, at um, online, wherever I am, and make sure.